in part seven, we added color to text and we added color to the background of the H1 element. Now let's look at adding color to the background of the entire body of the document. And to do so, what we're going to do is target the body itself. Okay. So we're not seeing it up here, but the body would be right above the header here. Okay. Where the body of the document begins. This is where our HTML is. So we're not seeing it in code pen, but it's there. So let's just drop down a couple of spaces and we're going to use the body HTML element as our selector, as our hook or our, our means of connecting to our rule, our style. So let's just type body, the actual body element, and then we'll add the curly braces and we're going to add background, color, colon, semicolon. And let me go back to my code source here. I'll have to go back to the picker. And I'm just going to choose a really soft background color. Nothing too obtrusive here. Maybe maybe something kind of like a weathered paper. All right, right here. And I'm just going to copy and we'll go back to our exercise three pen and let's add our pound sign and then our hexadecimal for that color. And let's go ahead and save and preview. All right, so now we see that light color or light hue in the background. All right, so previously mentioned as far as uh, margin and padding, the body of the document itself has margin and has uh, padding, okay? And depending on the browser, that amount might differ slightly but where I'm, where I'm where I'm going here is this space here usually this space here here and even the space at the bottom okay so let's go back to our pen and after our background color matter of fact I tend to always do the margins first but it's it's the order will be something that you develop on your own so let's do margin and just to start out here, let's add zero. And we do not need to put percent or pixels. We don't need to put in a unit because zero here could be universal. So we're going to save. Now let's do a preview. And you'll see that all of your content, except for, remember the H1, we added some margin on the top here. And of course we have a block quote on this text, but everything else has gone right to the edges. Okay. So now we have a decision to make. Do we begin starting to add margin to various elements to move them around? Or do we add margin to the entire document? So as an example, if we go back and let's just change this zero, to 100 px and save and you see how everything has moved in all right so that's really something that you're going to have to work with as far as how you use margin how you use padding on different elements to move them in relation to what is outside of them or potentially what is inside of them. So if you have a parent element, or if you have a, a nested element, or if you have two elements uh, top to bottom or side to side, okay? So are you going to be pushing something away using margin, or are you going to be pushing something in, if you will, uh, using padding? Again, that's something that you're going to figure out as you move through the exercise, but basically, adding a background color 
to the body of your page.